Hey everybody, it's Jay the Haitian Mogul here. I got uh, another installment of my Facebook marketing or best of Facebook marketing video series. Um, this one is going to be about the search bar. And I don't know if a lot of you know about the search bar on Facebook and how to use it and how it exactly benefits you in your business, but I use it a lot. Um, reason why is because a lot of times you might want to find something that's very specific. You might want to find certain groups that are specific to your needs. And the search bar, which is right up here, will actually help you do that. And all you basically is doing is just click on it and just type in whatever it is you need to search. So, for example, if you want to put post your post in a bunch of work from home groups, you type in work from home. Then you can actually select these other ones, but I usually select the work from home altogether. And then it'll give you a list of all the groups and you can hit see more. It'll give you more, and you can hit see all. And that's actually going to allow you to see that you can see all of them. And um, you can actually just go down the list and just sub submit out to like 10 different companies or 10 different groups, I mean, at a time, because you don't want to do more than 10 per hour, especially if you're doing them back to back. So, and this is not, also, it's not only good or great for groups, you can also use this to find people to add. So, say for example, you are in MCA because you know most of my videos are about MCA. So let's say people who who work. Let's see, people who employed. Now this one can be a little tricky. People who are employed with motor. Club of America. Let's see what happens. And then it will say, "Tell me this, all right?" So then I can. The thing, what you would do, then you would just be t trial, 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 trial and error for your groups. I mean, for the search. And as you can see, I got a lot of groups up here because it's selected, selected into groups. Um, but I probably won't want any of these only because they look relatively new. This one might be okay. I'm not relatively new, but I don't have a lot of members. So I'll probably just like that one. So then what you want to do if you if you don't do that, you can go straight to people. And it's doing the same thing. So then you have the other option of because I'll show you how to do it. You'll probably I need, we need to be able to figure that out. So I'm gonna come back to that. So in that case, since you see Motor Club of America here. You already have a group of members of people who are in Motor Club of America. So then what you would do is you would open the tab or open your group, any group, into another tab. All right, I'm coming. And then. You will go to the members. Now, you can actually go through and add all the members if you want. In the groups or on your page. And this one, okay, well, at least somebody's actually active in this group, so they just, cause they just accepted it. So then what you would do instead, you can do, because sometimes you might do. work at okay try people again but for the most part you kind of get the idea of what is it like you're trying to do um usually when i try to find people because i try not to usually just look for people who are just in mca i try to look for people who aren't in mca so normally this is why i, I, I don't know exactly how to find this one but you know it could be like it could be anything it could be anything of course, if you know what it is, then you just let me know. And um, but the, what I usually like to do is to actually find people who are not already in the company. Like I say, once you find the groups, you can find everybody who's who's in the company is going to be in somebody's group. So all you got to do is type in MCA, and you're going to see all those groups, and you can add them all. And then you can just promote your whatever information that you have or your sales in that group, get connected with other MCA members, and then from there, they actually will support you, and you support them in return. And you're going to actually going to have your own little support group, so that we don't have to worry about shoot your your post not getting likes, or 
that you're not getting any sales because you don't really have anybody that you can rely on to ask questions about to help you out in your business. So what I'll do, because MCA, we're in on Facebook, let's give MCA a hard time. So instead, what I would do, I'm going to put people who work at, who are self-employed. That's one. That's one thing, because they already know what it's like to get to get how hard it is to get people to sign up. Ugh. What is this? All right, hold on one second. All right. Now, you get a list of people when you type that in. And then what you're supposed to do is get a list. So if you don't get a list of anybody when you start typing something, just edit edit out the, the phrase in out the phrase on your page. Now what I'll usually usually as you can see I got a lot of people got 29 mutual friends, so I might add her. And you kinda wanna do this every day, um, till you max out your friends list. So you just get to like five thousand. And like I said, this is not necessarily something you'll only be doing because you'll be doing other things as well and then when they accept my friend request and i reach out to them and say hey you know thank you for accepting my friend request um i usually don't only accept people or request people who have a lot of mutual friends also it's not what their picture looks like if it looks like it's a real picture i can click i can go to it and if not i can just click on the name itself and check it out um and say uh okay here's another one people who, I did this before and it worked, so let's see if it works. People who like enterprise. Enterprise rental. How much does it cost to start? They love asking that question. Oh, I got an answer for you. All right. So, like, these are the people who like enterprise rental, as you can see. And if they like it, they might necessarily also might need the services or the discounts that we get, which we get 50% off, up to 50% off, because I'm not going to just tell y'all it's exactly 50% off, but it's up to 50% off. And you can just um, use the, the information that they give you um, or your discount code, so that way you can. And then what I'll normally do is I'll actually go through and like these, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to add everybody, sorry people. Like, I, I like people who have pages about either their businesses. This is okay. Ugh. Copy and paste cash. I mean, it can't be that bad. So, um, add a few of them. And Or, if you don't want to go ahead and add them, you can actually click on the name and message them. And if you do that, well, you can actually click on the side of this and send a message. And then what your message could say, this would be the people you were reaching out to. So, your message could say something like, Hey, how are you? Okay. Hope all is well. What we'll payment should just leave it at? Hope all is well. Hope all is well. I saw your profile on Facebook and wanted to reach out. Now, what do you do? Because you don't want to just. You can just you you're not gonna just leave it like this. First of all, you're gonna want to make sure that you post something up here that lets them know where you found them, that lets them know what you're offering, and you don't necessarily want to add a link, but trying to make them to make it. You want to make the the message that you send out to them make them want to ask you more information. So, with that being said, we can go ahead and go back to this message and say, because I'm probably gonna be editing this a few more times since I profile on Facebook. Wow. Searching for rental cars and wanted to reach out to you. And then you can do, we could do whatever you want to do. You can do, ask them some questions, the two questions or something that, that they would normally answer yes to. So it could be like, do you love to travel? And would you like to save on rental cars? 
that's that's one way okay now keep in mind this is like information i probably would just give you guys like once you comment and subscribe and share but i'm going to go ahead and share it with you guys now because this is my video series and if you've watched all the video series up until now, I figure this is going to be a way for you guys to get this little bit tidbit of information so that we can reach out to people, even if they haven't reached out to you. And you, and even though there will be some people, because you're not going to get everybody that's going to be, it's going to accept the message, and you're not going to get everybody that's going to be like, oh, thanks, or ask you for more information. So you are going to be, you have to, you have to prepare yourself and have a thick skin for those that come, come back and either call you a scammer or either just say whatever they want to say that has nothing to pertain to what you want to do. So, because other people might get upset, but I feel like if I'm reaching out to you and um and it's on a natural tip and I didn't put a link in it, I, I all I'm asking in return is that you could either say yes or no. Um, you don't have to come back with nasty remarks. I've got a lot better with responding to those as well because I'm usually the type of person that I I like to give it back. But I'm not doing that anymore because I'm I'm more professional and more business minded. So and no and what I usually do I'm like, okay, well thank you, no problem. Hope you have a great day. That way you know animosity. So wait, I'm not upset, they're not upset. Then if I public a post somewhere and they see my name, now they're gonna go through and comment under it because I went off on it. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day you kinda wanna think about that type of stuff because it will affect your business down the line. And I, I buy people all the time, but most of the time it'd be for, for people who are spamming my links with their own links because I get people that respond to my my, my group post. So that's the one time I actually get plot people. But you don't want to get a situation where you have gotten somebody that's interested, then they flipped and they're not interested anymore or whatever, and then you went off on them saying whatever you shouldn't have said, and they go and they basically either spamming you or giving you a bad name or trying to give you a bad name or otherwise. Then yeah, now you got to go ahead and block them. And what is this? It's a whole big old mess. So to save all that, to say, I'm sorry to bother you, or no problem, have a great day. That's it. Yeah, and move on to the next, okay? Because if that if they didn't pay you, that means it's already not worth your time. If they didn't pay to sign up, it's not worth your time. So um, remember that when you're making these, when you're making and sending out messages to people who are not your friends, because you do, because you, it is like you're um, you're reaching out to them without them knowing who you are. So this way you can actually introduce yourself, which I actually need to do. So for Hello Hope, all is well. My name is Jay, okay? And I could, that's my way of introducing myself. So I can say, I saw your profile on Facebook. I'm searching for rental cars and wanted to reach out to you. And then what you can do is, do you let the travel, you let the sale on rental cars? If so, I have a, I'm, I have a company. I can help you save on rental cars with major brands. Okay, brands like this could actually be a way of you selling it because they're major brands. That's a good thing about MCA is that you don't have to worry about them only working with like third party companies because people don't know who they are. Enterprise guy. Enterprise got commercials on TV all the time. You see, even Hertz, they're they're a big company. So when you can put little names like that in there, and they can see that, hey, I can actually save, and how can I do so? Then that's where that's your foot in the door. So that way you can go ahead and give them the information, give them your link to your professional website. Please make sure it's a professional website. I do not know how I can stress this this enough. If your website is not professional enough. Take your time for it to be professional because that's going to be what's going to sell people. Sell your product to people so that they can purchase. Because if they look at it as a oh, well, this person didn't care enough to take time to fix the website, I'm not going to care enough to sign up. So you really want to make sure that you pay, pay attention to that. If your website is not up to par, go ahead and fix it some. And that's not a problem. You can still reach out to these people. But then you will have to send them to your TVC marketing page or something like that. In the meantime, until you can get your website professionally done or fixed correctly so that way you can it can attract more people. And don't feel bad because my site's professionally done, but I still only average out about 20 to 50 hits a day. And that's not enough for me. But it was enough for me to get a check with Google, Google AdSense. So it, it's like you got to do everything to get something. So... Um, Go ahead and make this little small little message, and you can say I can help you save. I can say up to fifty percent on rental cars with major brands like Enterprise, Hertz, 
and budget. If you would like to know more, please let me know. All right, and that's pretty much it. Now I'm actually gonna go ahead and just like blast this out to like two, ten people while I'm sitting here, and the ones that who haven't already accepted my friend's request, and then just see what happens because this is all about business when you are self-employed and you're working for yourself. Most of the time, you're gonna be testing out a lot of stuff. This is where you're actually gonna spend a lot of time at until you can perfect it. This is why you've noticed that my sales didn't actually get started get rolling in until I perfected it. Mainly because I kind of was like learning everything by myself. Like I got some information and stuff from um, a couple of people who are with the company, but it was so outdated, I had to create my own, which is why I've been doing all these videos and helping you guys learn as I learn along the way. And I've already gotten a sale today. I talked to a guy for like five minutes and he, he, he purchased. And he had, I had talked, I didn't even talk to him that long because I think it was after, and he, he contacted me after he paid, and I didn't get the message or nothing like that until later, so when I got to work, it's when I seen that, that I had a sale. So I was really happy about that. So that goes to show you that the, every little seed that you put down is going to be, it's going to grow as long as you water it. Hey, love you. So make sure that you continue doing that, and like I said, you can copy this message if you want. And if not, you can change it up if you want. Of course, your name is not Jay, so change that up and put your name. And then, um, just like I said, shoot it out to 10 people every few hours. Because um, I usually do only 30 people, and that's usually on my, my software that I use. So I use like 30 people a day, and then they'll get all the same message. Um, of course, it'll be it'll be um, all edited so that way they can have their personal, it'll be personalized to them. But if you're going to do it manually and you don't have the program that I have, which I can actually include at the bottom if you want, um, which is basically just Friend Blaster Pro. It's an, or for those of you who've used it in the past, it's an old program, but it's a good program. Okay? So, like I guess I go ahead and um, try that out and test out the search bar as much as possible. You can find people who, are who might be interested in MCA, who are already in MCA. You might find people who are in other groups or other companies that they might like because of all the things that we offer with MCA as far as like the eyewear, eye exams. You can even search people who like America's Best. You can even search people who like For, for Your Eyes or whatever other company that involves eye exams. Toe short companies or even. You could even just go down the line and just, just change, up, change up the text a little bit, search on Facebook, and then just message those people. You will be surprised how many responses you get back. And even if they don't purchase that same day, it's your obligation to reach out to them again and follow up and say, hey, as you know, I just want to see if you check this out. And if they don't respond after you send like two or three follow-up messages, then I will just leave that alone because they already didn't reach out to you for the information anyway. And, and it's either one or two things. They either saw the message and don't care, or two, they did not see the message and it's in their message request because if you're not a friend with them already, that is automatically going to go in the message request. And I don't know about you, but it took me about three years to get to my message request because I didn't know it was even there. I get in it, and it's like messages in there from like five years ago. So please check your message request. Check everywhere you can to get all your messages and respond to them because that is going to be where your money is. All right? Um, so that's going to be it for this video. I think I might be done with the Facebook marketing videos, but if I'm not, I'll just make a separate video from the video series. And then... um. If, I, if you guys have any requests for me as well, you want to know how to do something, just let me know, and I'll help you out with that as well. Make sure you just leave a comment at the bottom, and you can give me some thumbs up if you like the video, and of course, subscribe if you have not. And as always, I appreciate you guys so much for watching.